This is Financially Fit Radio with Corey Sickles from Safe Harbor Retirement Group. When a part of your financial strategy is out of tune, your long-term goals, your retirement savings, and your legacy can all suffer. With many years of experience in the financial industry, Corey provides his clients and prospects with the information they need regarding Social Security, retirement income planning, wealth management, and much more. Listen in as we address your financial concerns and provide helpful solutions to put you on the path to achieving your retirement goals. And now, here is Financially Fit Radio with Corey Sickles. Welcome back to another episode of Financially Fit Radio. I'm Corey Sickles with Safe Harbor Retirement Group and Wealth Advisors. If you have any questions from today's show, feel free to reach out to us. You can always give us a call at 614 716-0670 760-0670 or just visit us online at safeharboroh.com. And while you're on our website, feel free to check out our radio page. You can listen to past shows as well as subscribe to our podcast um, on Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, Google Podcast, or Spotify. Also, feel free to watch this, this episode and other episodes of our Financially Fit Radio on our YouTube page. Just go to Type in Safe Harbor Retirement Group, and you can watch uh, today's show, previous shows, as well as you can also subscribe and join us uh, so you can get updates as we actually put those out there and also subscribe to our shorts. And uh, we're putting about anywhere from three to five videos out a week on different types of financial topics. Again, we're here to address any questions that you might have about retirement. So again, feel free to give us a call at 614-760-0670 or visit us online at safeharboroh.com. You know, one of the things I think a lot of people always want to do is retire tomorrow. And we're going to talk about maybe some strategies that you have to maybe implement in order to possibly retire earlier than maybe the the date that, that you, you know, are projected to retire at. So how can you change that? We'll talk about that. But before we dive into that, Let me introduce you to my co-host this week and every week, and that's Tony Shore. Tony, how are you today? Oh, Corey, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on your show once again, and I'm excited. You just got back from a little trip, and we're doing the show again, so that's great. But I've had a good week. I've been really busy, though. I took my dad to a couple of doctor's appointments, and they finally told him the time came he can no longer drive. So no. that was tough. But he he was more accepting than I thought he would be, to be honest. And uh, we were hoping, you know, that that would be the case. So it wasn't me telling him I didn't have to take away his keys. The doctor did. And they gave him a driving test and he did not pass. So, yeah, you so, know, uh, that's a tough time. And I think it, it's a. From from your situation, that's a good thing that you didn't have to take it away. It is. It worked out really well for me. Especially I if he failed a test, then he's going. You know what? I probably shouldn't be driving anyway. Yes, exactly. So that, in a way, it worked out because I didn't want him to be a danger to himself and others, which I think was becoming a problem. So, and he knew it. Uh, but it's yeah. tough, you know. Sure. I, I mean, I can't even fathom. I, that's not something you don't think about, but. When we have to take care of our aging parents or we're aging ourselves, as we all are, um, you know, you have to look at these things. But honestly, it went as good as could possibly be expected under the circumstances. So I'm doing good and things are working out well here. But uh, how are things in Ohio right now? Are you busy? Yeah. You know, here's what I would probably say, Tony, you know, from from, you know, January, probably through May. We're really busy. And then yeah. kind of summer kicks in June, July. And then we start getting really busy again come August, you know, August. Yeah. Um, throughout the, you know, the end of the year as well. So uh it's gonna, you know, it's been a it's been a good time for me to kind of get out, get re-energized, you know, you know, you know, just get out of the office, get re-energized because yep. you know, here we are coming up for you know for another third and fourth quarter. And uh yeah. You know, and obviously we have an election year this year, so no, really? I'm, I'm already, is there an election? Yeah. And we're I gonna have... have we're gonna have a show on that no here idea. coming up, but oh, uh, you know, just with a lot of because I'm getting obviously I, anytime I have a, a client meeting or even a prospect meeting right now, one of the questions, is, well, how's the election going to affect the market? Yeah, and uh, um, you know, a lot of people get worried about it, but 
you know, as we'll, we'll kind of dive into earlier, yeah. it, you know, it, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who is president. Um, our companies yeah. make money, the market's going to go up. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, uh, something could happen and it could go down, but uh, history has shown that uh, the markets haven't really cared who's in office. Uh, that doesn't really affect it. Other factors do. So presidential election years uh, don't really have as big of impact as people think they do or make them out to. But let's get back to the topic. Now, uh, you know, a lot of people I know want to retire early. I I, for one, you know what they say, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And that's kind of my situation. I do love doing what I do and voiceover work and recording the show with you each week. So I want to do it as long as I can. But I know a lot of people who would love to retire early. That's exactly right. And a lot of times what that comes down to, Tony, is, you know, there's, there's a few things. Obviously, it's savings. You know, what's yep. your savings look like? And the other big part of this component is, is what do you really need to make per month in order to satisfy um, your needs, right? Right. Because, you know, based upon what you have, it's going to either come from pension and Social Security and your investments. That's really pretty much it. And I don't, as we kind of sit down and we do income planning, you know, for a lot of clients, I think they don't realize the potential impact of retiring one, two, three years earlier, what that actually shows, how big of an impact it is to your overall portfolio, you know, 20 years later. Right. Right. And, you know, and, and a lot of, you know, a lot of things go into this. We'll talk about a lot of that, but, you know, just everyone needs a number today, right? You might need $5,000 a month, but I think we're the, the hardest thing that people the hardest thing to do is be able to project the income because when you throw inflation on top of this, right, it's, it's, it's not $5,000 next year. It needs to keep going up. And, you know, which means you're going to have to take money out of your retirement savings that you have saved on top, you know, plus your social security and things like that. But if you don't do it the right way, or if you overspend, then it's going to jeopardize you for potentially running out of money later on in life, which is what you do not want to have happen. Yeah. And you, like you mentioned, things going up uh, it makes me think, hey, if you want to retire early, inflation could derail that early retirement, depending on how early you do retire. That's correct. So so here's what I, you know, obviously, as we kind of go through this list, one of the first things I would highly recommend, and that is, is you really need to be able to seek some type of, you know, professional advice. Right. Yeah. You really do. Because what we're going to have to be able to do for you is show you what you have today. Right. We can run Social Security, pension numbers, all that type of stuff. But with what you're doing today and you can throw out whatever date you want to. I want to retire at 60 or 62 or 65 or six, whatever, whatever the number is, is we can then put together an income plan based upon what you're doing. What is that going to look like for the as long as you live? Are there issues about potentially running out of money? Hmm. Now, the earlier that you come to us or any financial advisor and we sit there and say, you know what, it's just not going to work. But the earlier you come to us, maybe you can do other things where it can work. Right. So the first one would be is we have to look at what, what are you truly saving? What is your savings rate? And you might be in a situation where, you know what, saving a few few more percent of what, you know, of your overall, whatever you're earning now goes into a savings, then that might be able to put you in a better situation to retire when you want to. But if you come to us one or two years from now and say, I want to retire in two years, and we look at it and go, oh, well, I, yeah, I don't think that's going to be able to work. Now you don't have enough time in order to save the amount that you need to, to be able to retire earlier. Hmm. So the earlier that you come, always the better. Sure. The sooner you start uh, looking at your plans, understanding how much you're going to need to retire when you want to and meet your retirement goals, there's no way you should try retiring early without working with a trusted financial professional who's a fiduciary like yourself, Corey. You're going to look at the big picture, look out for their best interests and say, hey, Based on what you want to do, here's what you're going to need. Here's where you're at. 
here's when you'll be able to retire. And I know a lot of people are surprised. Wow, I thought we'd have to work a lot longer, but they may be able to retire earlier than they thought even. That, that's exactly right. Until you kind of go through the process, you're not going to know whether you're you're on target or not. And, right. it, it's a, and it's a good situation when you show somebody, because they, they might be in a situation, let me give you an example, Tony. They might be 60 years old, right? Mm-hmm. And they go, my goal to retire is 65. But I want you to run the numbers to see if I could retire at 62. So you run the numbers. Here's all they want is if they go in and they don't like who they work for, or maybe they there's a there's a job change mm-hmm. where you have a new where you where you're actually reporting to someone different. They just want the ability at some point and say, you know what, I'm done, I'm out. Yeah. But a lot of times what you see is they like what they do, but all of a sudden you have a change of personnel at a company. Yeah. Now you don't want to no longer want to work there. And, and and all they want to do is they just want to be able to know, can I do it? I might still, you know, I still might retire at 65, but could I retire at 62? And without running the numbers and doing the things um, that you need to do or, you know, run it, let us run the numbers, you're not going to know that. And that's what the whole process of to go through all this is to, to see if you're basically on track to retire when you want to or potentially retire even at an earlier at an earlier date. So obviously you got to save, make sure you're saving more. We always recommend between 10 to 15% on an annual basis. You should be saving, but you know, you might want to retire early and we say you got to re- save 20% for the next five or six years to get where you want to. So again, until we run the numbers, we're not going to be able to tell that. But I think one of the other, the other one of the other things that you really need to look at is, is what are you spending things on? Yeah. Right. Can you cut things out? And there's nothing wrong with saying, you know what? I think I might want to retire. I think my budget's four thousand dollars a month. Um, well, you know what? Let's live on that four thousand dollars a month. Can you do that today? Right. Yeah. If you yeah. can't do that today, you're not going to do it in retirement. No. Yeah. You have to figure out, do you have the discipline? Do you have the ability? That's a really good point. You have to look at your spending plan and what you're spending and what you need to live on. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. So, uh, and if you want to retire early, you have to be disciplined to spend less and save more now. So you have money for the future. That's that's right. And uh, the whole point of this is, you know, no one likes to live on a budget. I don't think many people do at the end of the day, Tony, when, when you're working. You just kind of spend what you have in right. some cases, right? But, you know, if you're saving and you don't see it, then obviously you're not going to know that you have it. Right. Right? It's not going to be in your bank account or whatever you're trying to do, right? So um, so one of, the, one of the, the, you know, so one of the things that I think a lot of people get hurt or heard of long term is, hey, you're, 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 you know, you need $5,000 a month. And all of a sudden they come in and go, you know what? I'm going to call my, you know, advisor and get, have him give me an extra 7,500 right now or 5,000 right here or 5,000 yeah. there. And all of a sudden, instead of you spending five, you know, $60,000 a year or whatever the number is, you're really actually spending 90,000. Well, that's not what's actually on the plan. Yeah. Now you're going to have some major issues later on because you're spending more than what you actually said that you were going to spend in retirement. So to cut out those unnecessary expenses, you need, you kind of need to kind of do that a little bit while you're, while you're working here Mm -hmm. the last couple of years of, of before you retire to make sure that that's the way it's really going to work for you. Right. Right. And so another thing that I think you can do too and, you know, obviously, if you want to retire earlier, you're not saving maybe the amount that you need to save. You know, it might make sense for you to go out and get a, some other type of part time job to help you save more. Right. right. I right. think I know so many people that I talk to, you know, some, you know, Uber or Lyft, just a way to pick up a little bit extra money. Um, I'm not saying that's what everyone should be doing, but I'm just saying it's a little part time job. Sure, Make a, a side couple hundred hustle. dollars. Yeah, it's a little side hustle. Making a couple hundred dollars more a month that you, that you no longer, that you know, maybe you need that, but now you're saving more. But now you're able to offset some of those other expenses that you do have. Yeah, right? and that's really popular. They call it the gig economy. It's still popular. Is everybody has a, a little side hustle or gig right. on the side, and uh, I think that's really important to to know that you can always do that 
uh, during while well, you're working, you can do that to save more and put all that money in savings so you can retire early. Or if you retire early, you can keep doing it to have extra income in retirement. That's exactly right. It's a good way to be able to do that. Yeah, I know, I know a lot of people that get that have that little extra side gig in order to make a little bit of extra money, right? Yep. yep. Um, obviously, heading into retirement, Tony, it's going to be a lot easier. You you need to go into go into retirement if you want to retire early with really no debt. Yes, especially when you retire early. But going into retirement debt free, you've talked a lot about that in past shows, Corey. That's important, but I bet it's even more important. It's a huge part of being able to successfully retire early is having no debt. That's exactly right. And one of the situations you might be, well, you know, some people go, well, I'm always going to have a house payment. I'm always going to have to have a car payment, right? Well, you don't, you don't have to have that. No. Right. You do not have to have that downsize, right? Obviously you probably don't need the house that you have. Maybe you have a good equity in the house that you do have. Now, the biggest issue right now is, is, you know, you, you want to sell your house and so this is always the toughest thing to do. I want to buy that house over there. I mean, I am downsizing, but I can't buy it until I sell my house. But I don't want to move twice. I only want to move once, right? right? And then you kind of get it, you know, and the way the, the housing market works, you, you you know, you can't make it contingent on you selling your house. So you got to have the cash. But it, but the whole point of all this is, is you need to really go through a process. And, and the ideal situation is you don't have a mortgage. And if you can downsize, pay off, you know, take the equity from your one house and buy buy your other house, then you're going to be in a such such a better situation because that you don't have another thousand or twelve hundred or fifteen hundred dollars a month going towards you know your rent payment, right? Or you know your you, basically that's what it, that's what it is. It's a rent payment. Um, and hopefully, you know, if you do go into retirement earlier. Maybe maybe you're only one or two years off before you pay that house off, and you're, and maybe you can work around that. But you don't want to be going into retirement at age sixty, and you have twenty five more years left on a mortgage. No, no, that's no good. You definitely don't want to do that, especially if you're going to retire early as well. I, I mean, even earlier. So debt is a bad one. Uh, obviously, you can't retire at age fifty five if you've got tons of credit card debt and owe a lot of money and still owe a lot on your home, that's going to be a tough one. It is. Yeah. You, you can't, you got to get rid of the debt, no yeah. credit cards, none of that type stuff. Spend within your means, focus on retirement, live on a budget and save as much as you possibly can. Yeah. And obviously you want to be able to do this in a tax efficient way as well. Right. Which is right. where I think working with an advisor, make sure not all of your money is going to be IRA or 401k money when you retire. Uh, make sure you're diversified. You have some Maybe some qualified funds that are going to be taxed. Maybe you have some Roth funds that's going to be tax free. Then maybe you have some brokerage accounts where you're only paying taxes on whatever that particular investment gains. So you want to have a diversification and, and you also want to work with an advisor to make sure you're taking it out the right way from a tax efficient standpoint in retirement as well. So, yeah. So taxes are a big part of it. You know, it's not, you know, We've talked so many times on that, Tony, just because you have a million dollars and it's all in a 401k, you really don't have a million dollars. No. Right? Because you got to pay Uncle Sam and the IRS a portion of that of that money as well. Yeah. I mean, up to 20, 25% of that money could go to IRS, the IRS. So uh, you really don't have that much in a traditional IRA or a 401k. So you've got to take taxes into account if you want to retire early or for any type of retirement income planning, whether it's earlier or later, but you're right. Taxes always do creep in. No matter what we talk about, you have to consider the tax implications and taxes could derail an early retirement. Yeah. And, and again, I hear this so many times, well, I'm going to put it in my tax deferred IRA account because I'm going to be in a lower tax bracket when I retire. And, you know, eight times or nine times out of 10, you're in the same tax bracket. Yeah. I'm a firm believer, create tax-free money in retirement. You know, make sure you're putting enough in to max out your contributions from your employer. Um, that's free money that you're giving away. But at the end of the day, have a divert, you need to really have a diversified, you know, everyone always thinks diversification from a portfolio standpoint, but you need to have a diversification from a tax standpoint. Hmm. 
right? So by working with an, uh, that type of, you know, that right advisor, we're going to be able to show you um, the, the, the proper way to be able to save. And then we're going to show you the proper way to take it out when that time comes as a distribution in retirement as well. Mm-hmm. So it's not as easy as, as a lot, I think a lot of people think when we start planning for that. And that's really what we're here to, you know, to really help people do. Now, we just talked about diversification from a tax standpoint, Tony. But one of the things that you really need to be able to make sure that you're doing, especially if you're trying to retire early, is you want to make sure that you're invested wisely, right? Mm. Make sure you're doing the right things from an investment standpoint. You don't want to be overexposed, maybe, and in, 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 you know, having too much risk within your within your portfolio. Make sure whatever your risk level is, that's what you're allocated to, and you should change that at least once a year, uh, just to make sure that you know that you're still allocated the correct way. There's so many different types of products, so many different types of um, you know investments out there that, you know, we don't expect our clients to know all the investments that are there. That's our job, right? Your, yeah. your job is to basically enable us or trust us to be able to work with you, find the right type of investments to put them into. And then we reallocate that every year based upon where you are risk-wise, hmm. right? You don't need to be worried about on what should I do with this particular investment or this particular stock and things like that. Um, you know, if you're working with a trusted advisor, they're going to take care of that for you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something you do to help your clients. And I know our listeners out there, if they want that, they can just give you a call at 614-760-0670 and you'll help them out. I mean, you have to have a plan in place, especially for early retirement. I know a lot of people out there would love to retire early. So these are some great tips you've given us so far. Yeah. You know, in the last one, I want to kind of talk about too, before we kind of wrap up the show here, Tony, is this, is, you know, you come in, you meet with an advisor, we put together a plan, right? Well, you know, think about this. Um, you're, you're playing a football game, Tony, and yep. all of a sudden the team that doesn't blitz blitzes you, right? Right. Well, what do you do? You got to adjust. Yep. Right. You got to stop that blitz or whatever that might be. Or maybe they were supposed to be blitzing, but they're not blitzing. Whatever it is, Mm -hmm. you have to you have to kind of you have to readjust what you're doing. It's the same thing with your retirement plan. When you come in and meet with us regularly, at least once a year, we're going to be able to show you, well, you know, here's what you spent. Here's what you do. This is what we need to do now. We might have to adjust it. Maybe you have to save more or or this is, you know, pre-retirement or even once you get retired. We still want to be able to look at that, look at your situation on an annual basis, because we might have to readjust it, reallocate it, whatever might ha- happen, or you might have different needs. Maybe you go through a divorce, you lose a spouse, things change. And, yep. you know, our job is to be able to work with you to make sure that we modify that that financial plan for you on, on an ongoing basis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I think that's really important is to be flexible and be willing to make changes to the plan. If circumstances change, you know, we don't know what life's going to throw at us. So you need to be able to roll with the punches. I mean, you have things like COVID, you have years like 2022. So you need to be able to make changes to the plan, just like uh, football teams have to make adjustments on the field because they plan for, they watch the tapes, they plan for one team. And that team is going to make adjustments and maybe try to throw some curveballs. So you have to make adjustments. That's exactly right. I mean, you know, you know, when when you look at whether it's football, basketball, whatever game you're playing, right? You're, you're playing sure. to win, and you really have to be able to play to win when you retire. That's yeah. what it's about to make sure you succeed yeah. and have the retirement that you want. And the best way to be able to do that is to have a solid financial plan and then adjust it as it needs to. Yep. And so we're almost out of time here, Corey. Let our listeners know how they can get a hold of you to set up that consultation. Yeah. Again, our listeners out there, give us a call at 614-760-0670, or you can visit our website at safeharboroh.com. Again, we're here to help and guide you to make sure that you have the retirement that you want. We know everybody wants to retire, and we know everyone preferably will retire sooner than later. And our job is to work with you to see if that can really happen. 
So give us a call at 614-760-0670. Again, visit our website at safeharboroh.com. And as one last reminder, all meetings are complimentary and there's no financial obligation. Excellent. Well, thank you, Corey. And listeners, that does it for today's episode of Financially Fit Radio. Thank you for listening to Financially Fit Radio. Don't pay too much for taxes or retire without a sound income plan. For more information, contact Corey Sickles at Safe Harbor Retirement Group. Call 614-760-0670 or visit their website at financiallyfitoh.com. All matters discussed during the show are for informational purposes only. Each individual situation may vary and the opinions expressed here may not apply to everyone. Materials presented are believed to be from reliable sources and no representations can be made as to its accuracy. All ideas and information should be discussed in detail with one of our qualified representatives prior to implementation. We are not affiliated with or endorsed by the Social Security Administration, the Federal Medicare Program, or any other government agency. Calling this number will direct you to a licensed sales agent.